In this tutorial, I'm going to help you guys disable Windows 10 updates. And we're going to do so with the Windows PowerShell application. So on the search, go ahead and look for PowerShell. Right click and run as administrator. All right, so the first command we're going to type in, this will disable the Windows update service. So it doesn't auto start when you reboot your computer. Okay, you're going to press enter once you type in the command and you're going to get this message here that is successfully configured. Then we're going to go ahead and stop the Windows Update service. Press enter. All right, in your case, you should be able to get another message. My Windows service was already stopped. And if you run this command here, we could check the status of that command and it looks like it's stopped. So the Windows service is stopped. All right, so once you do that, we've done two things. We disabled the auto start feature for Windows updates and we stopped the service currently so it doesn't run. Lastly, we're gonna go ahead and do one final command. And this command basically disables the auto update feature in Windows 10. That way your updates do not install automatically and do not download automatically. So go ahead and copy paste and press enter. And I'm gonna put all these commands in the description below. Press enter and you're gonna get something like that. And if you want to undo the second command, basically you will put in a zero here where it says not configured. Or if you like the other features for the Windows updates, you could go ahead and put in the corresponding number. But I'll do one so that way the updates are disabled for the auto updates. So from here, generally, I will restart the computer. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, so once the computer is back up, I'm going to go ahead and check for the Windows updates. All right, so now I'm getting this message here that some settings are managed by your organization. If you don't see that, I wouldn't worry about it too much. So if I click on check for updates, it looks like it crashed. All right, so that means that I've successfully disabled Windows Update and from now on, you shouldn't get the automatic updates from downloading. All right, so I found this way to be more successful than all the traditional ways. If you have any questions, any issues, leave your comment below. And thank you for watching.